Hi guys, I'm Sasha J Reacts. I'm back with another reaction video. Today we are watching episode 30 of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. Let's dive in. I can't believe we never got to see his Bankai. Yuhabak definitely didn't see this coming either. Yep. And that's his weak spot. He you have about really has daddy issues. That's interesting. This is nuts. That's interesting. So where exactly does it reside then? Is he strong enough to do that though? Come on, Ichigo. Quick, let's go. Yoruichi is always saving the day. Come on, hold him, Ichigo. Damn. Come on, Chad, get in there. I can't imagine you losing. Yo, that was smart. Exactly. Yes, you should be saying kill him. Clock that T because he did kill your mother. Who is that? I know that's not Ashida. This bastard. See, now he's not focused. Exactly. I've never liked Uryu, like never. He's so annoying. Damn, messed everything up. What the freak? Oh my gosh. Did Yuroichi just die? What is happening? Uryu, stop. Like, what is he doing? Bro! What is happening? Oh my gosh. Is he serious? I can't believe this is happening right now. His mother died because of Yahabak too. I can't. I can't. I'm telling you, this betrayal has to pay off with Ashida switching up at the end on Yahabak. If it doesn't, I'm going to be highly upset, honestly. Like, he's so annoying. Freaking strong, bro. I hate that they're fighting, yo. This is annoying. Come on, Ichigo. Yes, he had a power up. Bro, this is insane. This animation. Yes, you idiot. Wait, does Ishida not know that Ichigo is a Quinty too? He looks surprised. 
僕を殺せたはずだやるわけねお前は俺だぜ僕はクイーンシーそれが全てだ Ichigo is a Quincy too. More soul reapers. Bro, he is having a power up. What the hell? He has wings. I knew I saw wings. Yo, this looks incredible. Oh, this is crazy. I know Ichigo's, I mean, Ashida's five fans are so happy right now with his power up. This is nuts. Yeah, Ichigo is about to get work. Cause he doesn't want to hurt Ashida. Oh my gosh. Is that Aizen? Nope. Aizen's presence probably. Where the hell is Aizen? Oh, it's keeping the balance. Oh, it's keeping Oh, so once he dies. Power up. Oh my gosh. I hate this. Come on, Ichigo. Damn. This is crazy. There we go, Orihime. Come on, Chad. I love Chad. Oh, Good work. These Quincy's are so strong and it's so annoying. Kill him. No, he has to make the sacrifice. Oh, because he read those diaries and everything. Just stop, bro. I get why he's mad though, because he's not wrong, but it's annoying. Oh, is team about to get cooked? Ichigo, come on! This looks incredible! Because he's not... Fighting you with full power, like he doesn't want to hurt you. No way, he's no way. Did Ichigo not give an attack? Did he just shoot Ichigo? You bastard! And I'm mad Ichigo just let that happen. Oh, it took him? That's only because he is in hole. Wait, did he just absorb everything? No! Oh my gosh, Ukatake is really done now. Bro, this is nuts. Oh my gosh, so he's really done now. Wait, so what's he going to do, absorb him? The Soul King literally just got erased. What is happening? So what happens to Ukatake now? Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. This was episode 30 of Bleach Stars in Your Blood War, and guys, I am so confused. What is happening? First, we have Ishida and Ichigo fighting this episode. This was a really important episode because we see that their relationship is now completely different. They're both on opposite sides of this war which we knew was bound to happen, but 
I didn't think it would play out like this with just Ichigo literally pulling the Naruto, not even fighting at his full strength just because he doesn't want to hurt his friend. So it seems as though Ichigo, he's still not ready to do what it takes to save everyone because he's still talking about how he wants to stop Yahaba instead of kill him. He wants to talk it over with Ishida when Ishida is literally fighting to kill but I do have to say Ishida's new form is very very cool. He has wings now and he has a whole different I don't even know what the hell to call it honestly. I'm just so in shock. I honestly I get confused when it comes to the Quincy's power system and how everything works. So I just basically grouped them in as one with obviously Udio being the second strongest in command after Yahaba because he shares um his power as well this was an incredible episode uh Ukatake looks like he's officially done because I want to say Yahaba absorbed the soul king I don't know what the hell he did. I just know the Soul King was there one minute and the next he wasn't. Bleach is literally cooking right now. I'm so happy that Student Periot is taking their time. Like, honestly, this is the priority right now. Because ever since it's, it's came back, Bleach has been every episode better than the last. But what I will say is that the pacing is really good. They're not dragging arcs out like we're used to I know that they are adding like I'm hearing that they're adding like more from what was in the manga to like stretch it out but also it's giving the anime more substance which is really cool I'm just happy that Bleach is finally getting the respect that it deserves after all these years everybody has always said oh it's the weakest in the big three but honestly Ichigo has always been my favorite main character out of the big three for me because he is the one with the most level of maturity. I want to say all of Shonen, honestly, like he's so mature for a main character. And I'm interested to know what's going to be the next play now that the plan that Ukatake had is basically useless at this point. Yahabak, he's just way too strong. So the next step has to be Aizen, I'm guessing, for him and Yahabak to fight. But we have to find a way to get Ishida out of the way. Hopefully Ishida does the classic anime backstab where it was like, oh, I was only working with them to get closer and get more powerful. And then he comes back to our side. Because honestly, I have never cared for Ishida as a character, but I do enjoy the layers, I guess you could say, of their of Ishida and Kurosaki's relationship. It's a classic anime friendship. I enjoy the parallels, but this betrayal has to be worth it in the end, as I said before. It doesn't make sense for him to be doing all of this. For no reason, just for him being a Quincy, that's just not a good enough reason for me, honestly, because Ichigo is a Quincy too. So, hopefully we get some more answers next episode of what the hell happened to the Soul King. And hopefully we see Aizen again because I miss him. So, I'm excited for the next episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell if you're interested in this reaction many more. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Bleach.